Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to go over how to use Doodly to share personal stories or experiences to inspire and motivate others. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. Sharing our own stories can have a powerful impact on people. Doodly provides a creative platform to visually convey those stories. Of course, you're going to need a script. This story here is based on a true story. Here's the inspiration for the actual real life true story. That's my little puppy, Molly. And I went ahead and I changed the name to protect the innocent, right? <laughs> and I made her a German Shepherd. So what is the point of this story? Well, I'm pretending I'm a dog trainer and I want to be relatable to my customers and Perhaps maybe this will help inspire them to take action and hire me. So in this example, storytelling fosters relatability. A lot of dog owners have faced similar challenges with their own pets, right? So by sharing this experience, we can establish a relatable connection with the audience. Showing that positive change is possible encourages them to seek solutions and take proactive steps which then makes our call to action a no-brainer. In this example, they're gonna call Acme Dog Training. Now let's think about the visual elements we can use to enhance the storytelling experience. Doodly has a variety of characters, objects, and props that can help bring the story to life. Browse through the library and choose elements that represent the key moments and emotions in your stories. And if you can't find exactly what you'd like, you can import your own graphics, which is what I'll be doing quite a bit of today. So I found a few different images that I'm going to use today. I found them on freepick.com. I do have the premium account, so I don't need to say where I got them. So how do I get them into Doodly? Well, you go over to the props tab and you click the little blue and white plus sign. And you can either browse for your files or drag them in. I'm going to go ahead and just select them and drag them in. Okay, so here they are. And now let's go ahead and change our title. Now remember, this is going to be a personal story, so I'm using first person. And in today's example, it's fairly long. It's going to be probably about a 90 second video. So let's go back to the script. And so at the beginning here, hi, I want to share a story about this. So I'm, I immediately talk about Luna. So let's get Luna in here. So here she is. And I'm gonna delete this, and we're gonna let Luna be the star. You notice while it does have a white background, it's not a PNG file, so I should put her behind the text. Okay, like that. Now I can make her a little bit larger. Okay, so this is our scene. It's very short as of right now, two and a half seconds. So we need it to be quite a bit longer. If I hit scene settings, I'm going to make it, let's say, 10 seconds long. And then let's go ahead and add our um, logo while we're at it. We're going to place that in here. And I'm going to click the little pencil icon. I'm going to choose fade. And that's just going to fade in. And we're going to have this come on before the car. Yeah, I think like that. And then it doesn't need to be super long. Hi, I'm Pamela from Acne Dog Training. Today, I want to share a story about my own pup, Luna. Okay, so I'm going to go down here to video settings. I'm going to turn erase mode off. That way that little hand doesn't come in and erase something. Okay, so I'm just adding delays where it makes sense. And I'm just going to have this title come in just a little bit later. Fox. As her trainer and caretaker, it was essential to address this behavior and ensure a safety pup. And then I need to slow that down. So that's fine. We're ready for our herding instinct scene. So let's go here. If I recall, I uploaded sheep. So sheep grazing. We hit the pencil icon and have this fade again. And slow fade, I mean fast fade. We'll just have the German Shepherd. And I'm gonna flip him, her, I guess this is Luna. And we're gonna try 10 seconds at the end here. And then let's change the color here, just to white. Okay, so that's good. So I just made some timing adjustments there. 
And let's go back here and I'm going to take the same text and I'm going to copy and paste it. That way I have the same exact style and color. And I know, I'm sorry you can't see the white right now, but I'm going to go here and I'm going to say counter conditioning. And now I'll have to make this one a little bit smaller. I think that'll look nice. Okay, here's my next section here. So we're going to add a new scene. And now we need a car. So let's just pick this one. And then we need our little graphics here. So what did I name this? Dog trainer. So I'm just going to type in dog trainer. I'm going to flip that. I had previously imported a slash for some other projects. So maybe we can use that again. So we want to do that. And then we'll eventually replace that. So here's a trick that we can do. First of all, let's duplicate this. And now, let's get rid of these. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna export this image by right clicking and choosing save as image and make it the same resolution. And it's just gonna go on my desktop. And now I'm gonna delete this image. Bear with me, I have a plan. I'm going to go ahead and re-upload that image. And I need it to be full screen and I need it to be pretty much exact so that that car lines up. So let's just click the gear icon, turn the opacity down to like 50% just temporarily. And now we can see, hey, I did a pretty good job. I'm lining up the car like so. I think that's going to be good enough. So I'm going to change it back to 100%. And I'm going to fade it on. So take the little pencil icon and choose fade. And so now what's going to happen is this image, and I don't need a three second fade, maybe one second. And I'm going to add a little time at the end here so we, it doesn't just go away and doubt it. So now what's going to happen is this image is going to replace that. So let's right click. I guided Luna to a safe distance and rewarded her with treats and encouraging words whenever she reached Okay, so this would be a good spot to have like a little thought bubble or, you know, text bubble saying good girl. And then some text. And again, timing should be fine. Okay. So on to our next scene. So here's a good dog walking. And if we'd like, we could add a camera movement to help fill that space. So I right clicked and I'm gonna choose add panning and zooming. Now I click this. I want it to start full screen and then I want it to end down here on our happy dog. And I think we'll make it a nice long camera move. So let's just see how that is looking. Consistency was key in our training journey. Every walk became an opportunity for practice and reinforcement. With dedication and patience, Luna's self-control improved significantly, and she quickly learned to walk politely on the leash, even when cars passed by. And that's good. So one more scene. And here we're just working with the dog. A few final details. Uh, the hand style is a male hand and the voice is a female voice. So let's change the hand style. And then let's add some background music. So this is about a minute and a half. Go to the sounds tab, click categories, music, and you can look for songs that are, you know, in that general time frame, or you can shorten longer ones. I think I'll use chill out. So I'm going to go all the way to the beginning and I'm just going to drag this down. And it is going to be too long. So I'm going to go ahead and make my adjustments here. So let's take a quick look and then we'll be done. Hi, I'm Pamela from Acme Dog Training. Today I want to share a story about my own pup, Luna, a six-month-old German Shepherd. Recently, Luna developed a habit of lunging at passing cars during our walks. 
As her trainer and caretaker, it was essential to address this behavior and ensure a safe, positive walking experience for both of us. Recognizing that Luna's hurting instincts were triggering this behavior, I turned to counter conditioning techniques. Whenever a car approached, I guided Luna to a safe distance and rewarded her with treats and encouraging words whenever she remained calm. The goal was to create new associations and help her understand that lunging at cars wasn't necessary or rewarding. Consistency was key in our training journey. Every walk became an opportunity for practice and reinforcement. With dedication and patience, Luna's self-control improved significantly, and she quickly learned to walk politely on the leash, even when cars pass by. This story serves as a reminder that sometimes all it takes is a little understanding, plenty of patience, and an unwavering commitment to make a positive change in our dogs. If you're facing a similar situation with your dog, I encourage you to remain patient and committed to their training. Seek professional guidance if needed, and remember, that positive reinforcement and consistency go a long way. Join me in creating a harmonious relationship with our dogs. Let's help them thrive and enjoy the companionship that they bring into our lives. And there you have it. Now you can export your video and share it on social media platforms, your personal website, or any other channel that you prefer. I hope you found this helpful and I encourage you to embrace the power of storytelling. Thank you for watching.